Are you suffering from ongoing pain and discomfort in the mid part of your foot? You might be experiencing midfoot arthritis. I'm Dr. Steve Pinney. Today we look at the condition called midfoot arthritis, what it is and how it is treated. What actually is midfoot arthritis? The midfoot is a series of joints in the middle of the foot. Unlike most other joints in the body, these joints do not actually move very much. However, each day we stand or walk, these midfoot joints are subject to considerable forces, which repeat with each step that we take. Arthritis is a loss of cartilage. Cartilage is the protective layer covering the ends of the bones this cartilage allows the bones of a joint to glide smoothly. Wear and tear over time can lead to the loss of this joint cartilage and this degenerative loss of cartilage in a joint is known as osteoarthritis. It's important to recognize that having midfoot arthritis does not mean you can get rid of it, but rather with proper treatment, the symptoms should noticeably improve. Midfoot arthritis often causes foot pain in individuals that have experienced a major foot injury in the past. This is known as post-traumatic osteoarthritis. However, more commonly, midfoot arthritis is seen in patients 60 years of age and older, with the arthritis developing because of years of repetitive weight bearing. Symptoms of midfoot arthritis include increased pain when standing and or moving, often leading to a limp, the formation of what is known as a bone spur or leading to a lump or swelling on the top part of the foot, stiffness and pain in the midfoot area after a period of inactivity, which is known as startup pain. Now that you know what midfoot arthritis is, let's take a look at what it looks like on an x-ray. If you look closely around the area of the midfoot, you will notice the loss of joint space when compared to the x-ray of a normal foot. So how is midfoot arthritis treated? Fortunately, conservative treatment will usually improve symptoms considerably. The main elements of such treatment include activity modification to reduce weight-bearing activities, weight loss for overweight patients, wearing of proper comfort shoes, the avoiding directly lacing over the prominent midfoot bone spurs, the occasional use of an anti-inflammatory medication, and the possible use of a corticosteroid injection into the affected joints. The most beneficial treatment is usually wearing good shoes. Midfoot arthritis is not a condition where patients should spend much time walking in bare feet or in flexible shoes or flip-flops. Patients will be much more comfortable wearing stiff-soled shoes with a soft orthotic insert, a slight rounded contour, something like this. I'm not endorsing a particular brand. It's the element of the shoe that are the key to comfort. For more information on what constitutes a comfort shoe, check out the link below. What about surgical treatments? Sometimes in spite of optimal conservative treatment, like the ones outlined, notable symptoms persist, and then surgery may need to be considered. That will likely mean fusing the arthritic midfoot bones together so there is no bone-on-bone -bone arthritis. Midfoot fusion is the most common and effective surgical procedure, although recovery can be prolonged. I hope that you found this review of midfoot arthritis helpful to your understanding of the condition. To learn more, please follow the link below. Until next time, wishing you good foot health. I'm Dr. Steve Pinney.